Hello, my name is Kelly Hicks, and I'm going to show you a motorhome I currently have for sale. It's a one owner 2007 Chateau. It's a model 31F, and it's a Chateau on a E450 Ford chassis with a Triton V10 motor. It's a one owner. It's got 13,000 miles now, 30 hours on the generator, new tires that I just put on it, and it is super, super clean. I'm going to take you around it, tell you a little about it. It's got an awning, seems to be about a 20 footer. It's got a propane gas tank. And one nice thing about this, it's got an auxiliary uh, hookup so you can carry a 20 pounder with you. In case you run out, there's the 20 pounder hookup. And then there's a convenient place to store the 20 pounder. Storage all around, there's really no lack of storage. There's all the way around this thing you've got storage. Uh, the reason it's got new tires on it, it was parked north and south and used very little. And the morning sun dry rotted the passenger side tires. And the evening sun dry rotted the driver side tires. Little storage spot there for your boards. Another storage under the slide out. About you can fit another 20 pounder there, no problem. Big super pass through for long stuff like fishing poles, etc. There's a awning over both slides. It's got a ladder rack. It's got a 5,000 pound rear hitch with the four-way hookup 500 pound tongue weight 5,000 pound toe weight and there's no lack of power with the Triton V10 you'll get about 11 or 12 miles an hour down the highway at 55 60 and a little bit less if you set the cruise at 70 plenty of room to store hoses extra extension cord uh, it holds about 50 gallon of water. You can read up on the specs. There's the sewer station and all its goodies. Easy to check the tires for air. See them stems come out right where you can get at them. More storage. Two more storage under the little slide they're about 20 pound gas bottle sizes you could actually haul around four gas bottles this is the generator and it's controlled remotely from the inside or you can pop that cover off and control it from out here it's on the e450 that's a wide body 450 E Super Duty chassis. There's the other awning slide. It's got a good set of mirrors. We're this thing sold new for eighty-five thousand. Retail on it is currently forty-five thousand. You can look that up at Nada or Kelly Blue Book. And my asking price is $39.9. It comes with all its papers. There's what it sold for new. $84,752. With a base price of $77,490. It's got day and night shades. If you're not accustomed to what there are, you can have no shade, light shade, or privacy shade.
the upholstery is literally perfect condition I put these uh, runners down just to not to wear out any carpeting it's got the AM FM uh, satellite radio cassette player and CD player if I had the keys I'd turn it on for you but I'm telling you it's got uh, 13,000 miles it does have a tow haul button currently I'm in uh, the Florida Keys with this thing it's got two TVs it's got an antenna booster gets really good reception if you buy any big towns you'll get plenty of TV uh, big double door fridge of course I'm not using it right now it's parked at my house I got the air running it's nice and cool in here even though it's 85 degrees outside you've got the three burner stove oven range hood a lot of nice storage up and around everywhere TV compartment there there's my digital satellite converter a couple hats that I'm going to be taking in my house key rack that's our traveling goodies nice big micro and the generator like I said you can see that it's got 33 point two hours and it only had 20 on it when I got it so when I test the levels you'll see the LP gas is two-thirds batteries are changed in brand new both batteries the house battery and the truck battery are brand new um, here's how you start the generator it doesn't make much noise I'll go ahead and shut off the air so you can hear it. It's like whisper quiet. More storage in the slide out. There's with the slide out out watch what happens when you pull it in that's why it's great to have two slide outs it's still functional all the way in but you're losing two foot worth of living room there we go I'm gonna put it back out because I'm still taking pictures so out with the slide out TV does move out and tilt and the rear TV by the bed is fixed now I didn't upgrade the TVs because they've seen very little usage I just saw no point whatsoever in changing them out I did put the digital TV converter in there because it had to have it to operate these older TVs but we have the remotes for the both TVs uh, you got a really large pantry here there's where I keep water antifreeze and a bunch of bags so it's got a walk through bathroom foot flush toilet stand up shower good storage well thought out in here first aid kit show you what the shower looks like skylight so it's nice and bright in here space for towels yes I'm ready to go camping let's see let's let some light in the bedroom here there pull up the nightshade 
I put a brand new uh, Serta Dreamscape mattress in here so it's a really comfortable mattress for sleeping. You won't have to worry about upgrading it. It's a queen size. Uh, big closet storage. Got a jacket or something in there. What's kind of neat about these drawers, they pull out. Oops, let me get that closed. There's access to your water pump, and that's your water tank. You can visually see how much water is in it if you want to. There's the rest of it. Power converter. The seat does, or the bed does lift up. Storage underneath of it. It's kind of a secret spot to stash your valuables because most people aren't going to figure out how to raise it up. Also, you'll notice when the slide's in, it blocks access to a couple of the drawers. So that's also a good place to put your valuables if you're traveling. Put the slide in. Hide your stuff in the drawers. Good to go. A lot of storage over the top. You've got your reading lights. Whole house super duty exhaust fan there. Uh, this has a couple vent covers added to it. So you can leave the vents up all the time. There's one in the bathroom and one in the front. Well, the table makes into a bed. The jackknife sofa makes into a bed. I'll go ahead and start this thing up so you can see the mileage on it. And then I think I'm going to call this a complete video. Turn this on. Today is January 5th. No, January 4th. Sunday, January 4th. And if I put the right key in the ignition, it'll turn on. Okay, there's your mileage. 13,073 miles. Radio, stereo, air blows good, it's ice cold. It's got two auxiliary power stations. It's got a backup camera, Voyager backup camera, remote heated mirrors, electric windows, electric door locks, airbag. Uh, just all in all, a really clean uh, piece here. Nice, clean one owner. Uh, there also, there's a privacy curtain that Velcros across the front. So when you stop and you want some privacy, you just Velcro your curtain up there and nobody can see in. And then there's a pull across privacy for the upper bunk. And that's at least uh, queen size, if not king. Well, thanks for looking at my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you want to buy this thing. Now I can help with delivery because I'm on vacation. So if you buy this thing from me, I don't care if you're from California, we can make arrangements for delivery. It's not free, but I can help you out with delivery. Or you can fly in here and drive it home. I'll pick you up at the airport. Anyhow, thanks for looking. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is a 2007 Chateau model 31F on a Ford E450 chassis by Four Winds International. I do have all the original paperwork. Everything you want is right here. Call Kelly if you got any questions. 
Uh, you'll have to use my cell phone, 815-558-7617.